Well, the World Agroforestry Center is the global leader in the development of technologies for farmers about trees on farms. And of course in Malawi, it's a very important aspect of food security, developing better nutrition, better fertilizer trees to improve maize yields. Now what role has your organization had uh, on the improvement of uh, food security in Malawi? Well, the Malawi program has been our lead program in developing simple, practical pra practices or technologies for farmers to create fertilizer trees in their own fields. These are leguminous tree species that farmers can plant and manage to produce the fertilizer that they need for their maize crops. And typically we find that with these uh, species of trees, farmers can double or triple their, their yields of maize without paying for fertilizer. So if you actually add fertilizer to these systems, you can get more yield. Take us through maybe the activities that your program has been doing in Malawi specifically. What are the issues or the things that you've been doing? Well, our program has been working on the science of selecting the trees that are best for farmers in Malawi. Malawi says uh, we are food secure now. And uh, from your own assessment that you have done in the country, are you really impressed that Malawi is food secure? Well, um, food security is a moving target. Um, every year the population increases, the demand for food goes up. So you have to keep advancing your production in order to remain food secure. And um, as in every other country, it's a matter of increasing the yields per unit area of your maize crop as your basic food crop. So in fact, what we're doing is preparing the ground for a sustainable food security, a food security that's affordable because farmers can use practices that do not cost them cash. Well, clearly, um, as farmers continue to use these trees, the soil fertility in their maize fields increases. This is well known, and as they continue to manage the trees, the, 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 um, the health of their soils increases, and thereby the yields of their crops. And we want to reach more farmers with these technologies in order for them to benefit and for Malawi's maize production to continue to rise year by year into the future. The fertilizer trees are actually just the, uh, the seed that's required is a very small amount. Um, it is sold through some outlets, but it's also provided to farmers through the Malawi Agroforestry Food Security Program. Um, the seed is not very costly. It's just a few kwacha uh, to plant a hectare. But the main issue is the labor that you use in planting and caring for your trees so that you can ensure that your trees will provide the fertilizer to your maize crop. So the cash cost is very, very low. Uh, it's, the, it's mainly the nurturing of the trees that is important in having a successful fertilizer tree system. The fertilizer tree systems will produce fertilizer that is worth um, on, a, on a per hectare basis around fifty to a hundred dollars. So therefore if you're actually producing that fertilizer free of charge, imagine multiplying that over the entire area of, fer, uh, of, of maize in, in the country. It would be scores of millions of dollars, perhaps hundreds of millions of dollars of savings in, in actual purchase of fertilizer by using the fertilizer tree systems. What about the modern way, the modern fertilizers? Are you pro or against that? Is this one way of maybe trying to deviate people from using fertilizers to using maybe organic manure and the like? Actually not. Um, we do not believe that um, all food production is going to be adequate in Malawi or other countries without the use of inorganic or synthetic fertilizers. They're important um, as well. What we're saying is that many farmers in Malawi and other countries simply cannot afford to use those fertilizers. And we're also saying that the, the fertilizers they receive through the subsidy program is not enough to get the best yields. 
So they have another option, which is in addition to any fertilizer that they may have or be able to afford, is to plant and manage fertilizer trees, which will increase their yields without the cost of the fertilizer. Some fertilizer tree systems, like Tephrosia, offer benefits the first year you plant them, major benefits the first year. Some take a little longer, two or three years, to produce full benefits, like Lyricidia, but they last a long time, and you don't need to plant them every year. And some systems, like Phytherbia albida, or Acacia albida, which is common here in Malawi uh, on, on some farmers' fields, will take several years before it begins providing lots of fertilizer, but it will stay with you in your fields for up to 70 or 80 years. So once you've planted it, you have a fertilizer factory for generations. What is the way forward now? Well, the major way forward, which we discussed um, with our board of trustees, is to further scale up the technologies to reach not only a few hundred thousand farmers, but why not reach all the farmers in Malawi? And certainly the Malawian government is fully supportive of this program to reach many, many more farmers uh, in new parts of the country over the coming several years.